we have an interesting balance between professional art car artists and what is truly the heart of the community, which are daily drivers who have taken their usually second most valuable asset, their car, and have transformed it into a moving work of art. And if that's not a radical act of self-expression, you know, I'm not really sure what is. Each year, the Art Car Parade is a jam-packed weekend filled with creativity, community activism, and a belief in the artist and everyone. The Main Street Drag is the opportunity for us at the Orange Show to bring the parade out to the community. When we bring the parade to schools and developmental centers and nursing homes, we're greeted by the awe and wonder in the faces of students and families who are just incredibly thrilled that the Art Car Parade has come directly to them. Main Street Drag is most art car artists' favorite event. Some schools, when we arrive, they lose their minds, like nonstop for 12 cars going through a circle drive. It's like beautiful and exciting and moving. This is one of the moments that inspires kids to think outside of the box. Historically, the Art Car Ball is the celebration of the Art Car artists and the work they've done throughout the year to create these amazing, moving works of art. You know, in the last few years, it's also been an opportunity for the community to come out to the Orange Show's new campus and experience the magic and wonder of visionary art. People ask me sometimes, well, what's your favorite art car? And I promise it's whatever one I'm looking at. Even the newest, weirdest, barely started art car is still amazing and such a window into someone's world and psyche. It's just fun. We're a really disparate bunch of people, but our Venn diagram intersection of art car is really, really strong. Once you start driving an art car, like, there's no going back. Everyone jealous and I can see why. My thumb is so sharp that I cut like a knife. Too much of a good thing I go away to that. Too much of a good thing I go away to that. The legendary Art Car Ball is where we celebrate weird. You're dressed to the nines, or you might be half naked. I mean, it is known as the best party throughout the year. If you like to party, that's your night. I want a hundred comments on my chest. I want to spend about a million dollars in one breath. When I go so hard, I might just lose my head. I want to live expensive like Marie Antoinette. A lot of people don't realize that the Art Car Parade is almost a completely volunteer-run event. The Art Car Parade is the largest free cultural event in the city of Houston. It's right on the footsteps of City Hall, you know, which I think says for itself how important this event is to the identity of Houston. It's grown from you know, 17 cars in year one to now over 250 plus cars and taking over you know, the major thoroughfare of Allen Parkway and all of downtown. It's a special thing for an arts organization to be able to draw that kind of an audience. It's such an amazing experience because when you're in the parade and you're waving and you're smiling, they got to see that you can make stuff out of spray foam and styrofoam and really cheap spray paint. And a lot of art is just gluing stuff to other things and seeing what happens. 
cutting up cars wasn't something that I thought I was going to be doing for a living. You know, I was just a tow truck driver taking home body parts of cars with a plasma cutter, and it just kind of transformed into this. <laughs> to be a part of the art world, I'm with my people. It's cool. Houston's unique for having real art cars, daily drivers that you see all the time. Have you seen some of these outlandish cars? It don't have to look a certain way. And so people really enjoy that. I certainly didn't expect this big underground like subculture. This isn't something that mainstream people do, like decorate their cars in this manner. And I'm, I'm happy about it because it says to me there's something larger at work. Understanding the scope of art car has really led me to believe it's a new American folk art tradition to inspire more and more artists to pick up a paintbrush or a welding torch and transform their car. Each year we give out over $15,000 in award cash, which is really just to say, keep doing this and we support you. All right, welcome to the 36th Annual Art Car Parade Weekend Awards Brunch. I think the city is very proud of the Art Car Parade. I mean, it's the largest in the world, and it brings together so many different people, so many different artists, so many different communities. The energy was huge, and it's just really exciting the way that the city welcomes the Orange Show and opens up their doors and lets us take it over for the week. For all of these people to come out and really support, it means a lot. As artists, we don't really get to hear that applause when our art is hanging on the wall or sitting in a gallery. But during the parade, to hear that applause and to get the acceptance really does mean a lot for artists. We're coming since 1995. I feel like a real, I feel like a, a, a real Houstonian or Texan when I'm here. My first time being in the Art Car Parade, uh, it's great to bring the Slab community into the Art Car. It was an amazing time. We blew bubbles. We gave high fives to little kids, and I got to roller skate. My heart is so full of joy from all of the love that I get from this uh, community. So at the Art Car Ball Friday night, all the people use a Sharpie to write their message for us, and they're all encouraging messages from, from all the Houstonians. Now for the big award. This is the Ann Harrithus Legacy Award. This award comes with a $2,000 cash prize and goes to 241 Space Rider, Claire Johnson and the Pluppet Crew. All the way from Arizona. We love our car. We're gonna keep doing our car. This was so fun to do, and it was great to finally get out to meet everybody, and we'll definitely be back. The most special thing about our car was that anybody can do it. You know, people tell me like, oh, I've always wanted to make an art car. I'm like, do it. I dare you to try to make it look like mine. It will not look anything like mine. They're all so unique. We can't help but put our own personalizations and tweaks into it. Glue something on your car because you'll look at it long enough and realize it's lonely and you'll need to glue other things. Or paint something on your car and you won't like it so you'll need to paint other things around it. It's not just self-expression. It's like a free-for-all. Like really, really anything goes. 